We win every possession. We control the outcome. We are stronger, we are smarter, we are faster, we are hungrier. We play hard, we play together, we play to win. Tonight we etch our names in the history book, fellas. This is what legends are made of. Play like family. That's right, right, we play like family. All right, there it is. Family on three. One, two, three, family. Let's go, man. for joining us for a night of championship college basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Yukon Huskies going up against the Oklahoma Sooners. I'm Forrest Hunt, joined at the table by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg as we head into a contest between two teams who have reached the very top of college basketball. This is it. This is what these teams have been working for all year. And looking at the seasons they've had, man, they have earned this fight. There is no easy path to the top of the mountain, but credit where it's due to these squads and their coaches. They've overcome all the opposition, and now we'll see who is the very best for this year. A nice shot by Barry. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Pass to Junior. stage to play on the national championship both of these teams had some big wins and eked out some really close calls to get here well, it's been quite a remarkable journey for junior and his team he has stepped up in a major way what a difference the freshman breakout star has made this season you know what his position of ability not really at the level that you would expect but he's going to have to start playing with more force Good recognition there from Thompson, sizing up the defense and getting it to a wide open play. Here's Cutley. Pass to Bailey. Here's Cutley. Guarded by Macy. Evans outside. Here's Cutley. Shot clock at five. Shot from 16. Junior grabs the miss. Side, Macy, Junior, no dice from nine feet out, pass to Conley, now here's Barrett, here's Bailey, back to Barrett, Here's Evans. 16 feet out. And it's off the back rim. No good. You know, they have not been a lot of pros come out of Oklahoma. But the ones that have made it have left their mark in the league because they typically were dominant as college players. Now you see, he's covered by Evans. To the inside. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and he'll shoot too. The current Sooners in the NBA were all forces of nature when they were in college. Blake Griffin, Trey Young, and Buddy Hill, each of them either winning or considered for National Player of the Year. Not a bad representation in the NBA at all. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Oklahoma trailing. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Barrett. Pass to Conley. Go to the wing. Evans, he's open. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of... You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellas who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. The tenacity on that interior just badly beat that effort and will for second chance points. And the Oklahoma City is a program on the upswing. After they've had deeper runs in the tournament, the future is looking bright for Sooner fans. Now here's Barrett. Pass to Conley. Back 
to Barrett. Welcome back to our press. 
presentation of championship college hoops. The second half is kicking off, and you can feel the tension in this arena as we get closer to naming this year's champions. Well, guys, this Oklahoma program still looking for their first national championship, although they did come close a few times. Were the runners-up in 1947 and 1988. More recently, made it to the semifinals in 2016 before falling to Villanova. Now, this team is improving and will continue to get their chance to win it all. And, yep, that's good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Here's Bailey. Back to Barrett. Shoots the three. Doesn't go for him. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And here's Oklahoma. It's a 14-point game. Conley no good. On the wing, Junior. Guarded by Barrett. Outside, Macy. Junior. Pass to Webb. Back to Junior. Sooner in recent years, Trey Young. He was a huge star here with the Sooners. Now the face of the franchise and a rising star in the NBA. And it's the Huskies with the ball. They lead by 14. On the wing, Junior. Guarded by Barrett. Here's Junior. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. <laughs> Looking back at the attention Young commanded in college, you simply couldn't leave him alone. And you know, Young was always likely to be an all-time great shooter. You know, just like he was in college and now in the NBA, I'll tell you what, the Sooners are glad to call him one of their own. Right side, Webb. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Second chance points always hurt. There's not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. The Huskies making a switch here. Here's Wall. Outside, Norris. Pass to Underwood. Here's Cutley. To the middle. with the ball. Smith with it. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now Webb. Back to Junior. Norris with the steal. Pushing it up. Pushing it up. Up top, Smith. Back to Junior. And the rebound goes to the Sooners. Play the 
Mesquites will have it. you talk about rising to the occasion, Junior has been fantastic here in this championship game. Biggest stage in college hoops, and Junior is rising to the occasion. A game like this, with everything on the line, is going to turn the heads of those NBA scouts. What a legendary performance from him. To the paint, and Junior throws it down. Well, you look up at the scoreboard, the time remaining, this game is effectively over. I'd agree. I mean, they've done a great job of sealing this one, closing it out. And they never backed off, even with the big lead. I love to see teams do that. The left wing. Pass to Bailey. Three pointer. That one, no good. And it's the Huskies with the ball. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. To the inside, left side, Webb, Junior. Outside, Macy. And the Yukon Huskies have done it. They are the college champions. The ultimate storybook ending to what has been a
We should go tell the guys in the locker room. Uh, what they already know, how proud we are of each and every one of them. Uh, they stuck together and they played the game the right way. Thanks, Coach Junior. I have to ask about your dad, too. Uh, uh, he got here and didn't win. Does that give this win any special significance for you? Uh, I think my dad would have been proud of me no matter the outcome. Yo, Alex, Alex, we did it! <laughs> Junior, we appreciate everything you did this season and how hard you worked. <laughs> well, I just want you to know, it's been tough for me, Coach. Had a lot of sleepless nights about it, but I know moving on to the next level is what I have to do. And we're behind you 100%. This university is eternally grateful. I know I asked a lot of you, but you answered the call every time. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Why don't you get drafted? So that's funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result know the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, that's excuses. You stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree. Try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all team all defense. Schools, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda? I don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps. That's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? You're a point guard. Yeah, I mean, my size, my body frame. Can I play anything else? What about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers? The good dunkers you even see at the street games? I mean, is it explosive? Where they love to use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, and some other guy does. So draft the other guy. Draft the other guy. At least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. Whew, now most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. Suit shop? Mm-hmm. Messaging is everything. Okay, so is there a wrong choice here? Think of it like a spectrum. One end you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. You one of them while you're in the middle. What you 
decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. Are you ready, Junior? Yeah. You ready, Junior? Choice. We'll put this together and have it for you right away. Thank you. Listen, Art. I haven't had a chance to bring it up. This felt good. I already know. Maybe you do? Yeah. Harper and her team were in a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me soon as they contacted you. Not upset. How would I be? Someone take a meeting. I want you to. Without the specifics. Look, just because you sign with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. I'm going to tell you plan first. Because of mine. Oh. I'm the associate agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day-to-day. -day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced her name <laughs> walking in. It's fair, you have a lot going on. Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior. Hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we wanna create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now, I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and Know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for. Anything is possible, but it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Yeah. That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that. <laughs> it's okay. No. My parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Junior. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 
Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here, Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There's a little reality. Archie. He's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not one bit. Fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality, and you have an opinion. Your boy, Hendrix Carl, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes, yes it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player. Your work. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so use it. There's a contract available for me now. No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Man. She says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be. I don't know. Seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. And she may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. But fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Loyalty means a lot to me, but 
and I gotta protect my kids from a bigger shoe deal. All right, I I'm working on a few things right now, but it takes time, Junior. Yeah, but the shoe deal she has are already laid out. And if I don't take them, man, I'm just I'm throwing money away. Oh, and these big agencies, it'll be what have you done for me lately if you miss your draft projections. I would never do that to you, Junior. I wouldn't even consider that. Now, look, I just want you to reconsider, okay? Let's finish what we started. Sorry, Arch. Just the way it is. I'm fine with it. You know they'll cut you the minute you're not making any money for them, right? Keep your eyes open, Junior. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I wish you the best of luck, son. All right. Being a mid to late first rounder puts you in an interesting position, Junior. There's a lot of opportunity if you play it right. But there's a downside if it goes the other way. Players have fallen all the way out of the draft from where you sit right now. Remember, all we have is projections. Once you start your media sessions or playing in combine games, those projections go out the window. But there is the significant upside of becoming a lottery pick if you dominate in this next cycle. Great. Um, so what's next? Team interviews. We've set one up for you already. You should prepare. So here are some questions you can look at. Okay, so this is what they're going to ask me? Well, those are the types of questions they've asked in the past, but it could always change. You never know. All right, got it. Setup is simple. You're gonna walk in the room and the interviewer's just gonna fire away. I wish that I could just say to you, be yourself and everything will work out. <laughs> you are a solid person, so maybe it would, but you have to always remember what they're looking for from the answers. Tangibles, character, integrity. You are gonna do great. Bye.